Hi, and thanks for coming by Accessorize Your Life. If you don't know, I'm Julia, and I'm back with Keeping It Real Fun, or CURF as we like to be called, a group of ladies who like to collab. And this month, we have a good one for you. Actually, we have two, two for the price of one, <laughs> or for one viewing, let's say that. I wanna take this time and say hello to the lovely ladies of CURF um, and wish V, a happy birthday. She had a birthday this month. And to welcome a new member. Fash Fab, I think is her name. Yes, it is. Fash Fab. Welcome to Kerf. This is your first collaboration with us. I hope you enjoy it. And I can't wait to see the look you come up with. So with that bit of housekeeping out of the way, let's get on to our next point of housekeeping. And that is, if you want to join in and become a Kerf lady you know keeping it real fun with your makeup or whatever guys come on in contact michelle at age graceful v at simply you makeup or myself just let us know down in the comments if you're interested in joining us monthly for our collaborations we collab on the second wednesday of every month at 7 p.m eastern standard time we'd love to have you join us but um you know, some people just like to look, right? But I make sure that I'm subscribed because I want that that uh, channel to stay in existence. I want to motivate them to keep going. At this point, I like to do roll call or at least roll by the clips of the ladies who are participating in this collab for the month of October. And bear in mind, we could do two looks. The first would be, dare I say, an orange explosion well it was left up to the individual they could create an all orange look and add all kinds of orange accessories so let's see if anyone took on that challenge also the second um, thing we could have chosen was a nocturnal animal and that is where you kind of uh, pick an animal that is a night time dweller or i don't know and uh, speak on that and do a look with that so bear in mind, you're going to see different looks, not all pertaining to orange. You may see some orange and you may see some, wow, what is that? But anyway, that's where we're going. So we're going to do roll call in the form of the clips. Let's go. oh my gosh whoa stunning guys I know you're going to want to save some of those looks because I know you want to implement them but in order to do that wouldn't it be great to already be subscribed number one to comment share and like the video so that they're accessible for you and you can get some feedback so we invite you to subscribe to all the channels if you're not already and if you think you are check your subscription because sometimes by the magic of YouTube we become unsubscribed to our favorite channels. And we wonder what happened. But anyway, check and make sure that you're subscribed and subscribe to Fash Fab because she's our newest member. So without further ado, I like to get into the look that I've chosen today. But before I actually get into the look, I want to brief you on what I know about this topic. So as you may can tell, I have chosen the nocturnal animal. And my animal, my spirit animal is the owl. And I know just a little something about owls and I wanna share that with you. Okay, before we get into the makeup look, a little bit I wanna share with you about an owl, the eyes of an owl, and color of an owl or owls. And finally, the spiritual aspect of the animal the owl. There are generally three types of eyes that owls have and you will see the coloring shift as we relate to the type of eyes that the owl has. Nocturnal, which we've been talking about today, which my look will be about, those owls have pitch black eyeballs or eyes, if you will. They don't have eyeballs, they have pitch black eyes. But this is usually your barn owl. They see at night, and that is when they are active mostly. They have dark eyes that 
to correlate with the darkness and they see perfectly to catch their prey. Now, diurnal owls have yellow eyes, think daylight. These owls are active during the daytime. They are hunting during the day. So that's when they're most active, they have yellow eyes. And the Crepsula owls have orange eyes and think sunset, sunrise. That's when they are active. So isn't that interesting, the plumage or the feathers? The feathers covering the owl are soft, dense, and loose. They compensate, they help them for the weather to protect them or insulate them against the cold. Coloring can vary from white to many shades of tan, gray, brown, or reddish to deep brown. Some owls are solid colored but most are patterned with streaks or spots, which help them to kind of um, survive or blend in in their habitat, feared animal. This is something you may or may not uh, have resonate with you, but just hear me out. Now the owl is said to be a connection with um, wisdom and intuition. Very analytical, driven by facts and tasks. Know we gotta get it done, what do I need to do? It's done. They're logical, systematic, and conscientious. They value quality. Now, they also are a symbol of um, strength. And they really come off as being ancestral souls. So I hope this shed a little light about owls. And um, maybe you can add to it. Tell me something down in the comments section that you know about owls. I'm using this Dior palette and it is the Ekron Couture palette and this has five shadows in it. Three of them are matte while two of them seem to be satiny but you can see the color story. Beautiful representation of a neutral kind of natural eye look or color story. Perfect. There's that reddish brown there. There's that deep brown that we spoke of, and then the tans that are in the colors of most um, owls. So I thought this was a great palette without even thinking beforehand about it. So I'm going to use this. This brown, I don't know if it's a plummy brown or not, but let's see. So I'm going to work from the inner corner to the outer corner. I think I'm going to go with one of these lighter colors like maybe this one right here and I forgot to put down the NYX glitter glue. We want to do that because we want this color to um, stay put and like I said I'm going out and I don't want to do too much but it's a nocturnal look dealing with the colors of the owls. More specifically a barn owl brush here, not the smallest I have. I'm using the Sonia G brushes here that I have in my collection. Tap some off. In the corner is this color here and it's really showing up. I know it's the color of my primer pretty much, but hopefully you can see a little sheen there. And I just want to work it in and over a little bit. Now this eye, because I went in first, has a little bit more there. So I'm gonna go in and pick up a little more to hit this corner here. So next I'm going in with one of my taupey colors. I think it's gonna be this here. Take some off and just work that over. same thing with the other side and that Dior serum facial primer smells so nice most of Dior's products have a nice perfume scent to them that is their face products their serums and things like that 
Now I want to blend these two colors a little better. I don't know if you can see me all that well. I'm going to try to come in. Okay. Maybe more than what you bargained. And now I'm just going to blend, blend, blend these two colors together. Not totally, but right at the edges because I don't want there to be any harsh line. Now I'm going for a look that I can go out in. I'm not going... You can go out in a Halloween look, but you can't do it every night or every day. So this look can be a day look as well as a nocturnal night look. You just want to amp it up more if you're going out for the night. I think the inner corner color is enough of an amp for me right now. So I'm going to wipe off my brush and I'm going back into the palette and I'm picking up that reddish brown right there. And this color is going to go above and I'm really going to have to work it out. It's right in the crease up here. From where I'm looking it's a lot but I know on camera it doesn't always show up that way. And if you notice I'm really taking this up high and I'm really giving it a good 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 stroking here around the eye just so that it blends in. So I want that blendability with this. Guys tell me what um, is your favorite, if any, nocturnal animal? You have one. It doesn't have to be your spirit animal as well, but you know, just one that you kind of like, wow, he does that. Like, I'm happy for owls that they, I hopefully, are still around in my area, in my neighborhood more specifically, because they take care of those rodents out there. They keep them under control, you know, and they also have owls that like to snatch um, insects up. There's a specific kind that likes to do that. So uh, I'm happy for them and what they do. Yeah, they can catch all of those insects out there and I would be a happy camper. Taking a clean brush, this is from Sonia G again. This is from the Sky High, I think, set. And just going to use this side to work that in Blend, blend, blend. And wipe it off some. Take the other side and do the same thing. Remember, I got too low here, so I really want to work that out. And make it blend a little more. And I think we have that. I think I'm happy with this so far. Now I want to go in with kind of a flat brush. And it is going to be, I think, the brush I want to use to get right up in here. So I want to get here and here, kind of wing out this look. I think this is the brush. I hope it's not too big. Let me get a little smaller. Same Sonia G brushes, but one that's a little... This is a pencil one that could get really right there. Maybe I'll start with that and it'll line, give me uh, a line that I can follow. Here is the deepest color, that dark brown. We talked about that being a color that you see in owls. And I'm just going to go ahead and line this up like this. Start here, bringing it in. And I gotta check the time. And now, I'm finished with that pointed brush there. I'm going to go in with a um, more detailed brush. It's one of these. I want it more control, so a little smaller. Take on a little bit more of that brown and work it under that hooded part that sags and up to give me a nice little crisp, I hope, angle there. You see that? It's all about the blend. Now what you don't know, or maybe you do know, is that by putting that reddish brown up here, you're seeing color. Because if I put it down here with my hooded eyes, <laughs> lucky me, you don't see as much. So, yeah, that's the uh, reason behind my positioning of the colors. Here we go. I think what I'll do is go ahead and do a nocturnal look that's kind of like for day because I'm running out and I want to cut it short and I don't want too much on. And when I come back, I will touch this look up for a night look. I think that's the best way to go. I think I want to go in with the powder. I'm just going to use a brush that I have had out for a bit. 
and go ahead and use this. I think I have it in 7N. Yes, 7N, which is neutral. And uh, the primer's on, so I'm just going to go ahead and put this on. I'm mindful of the time. I think this is going to work out best for me since I have to meet her. Hopefully we'll have lunch because I have not eaten. Just had my um, ACV. Yeah, during the day it's nice to go out and meet with your friends, you know, and do good things. It doesn't always have to be in the evening or late when you get out. And I feel like you don't need as much makeup during the day. Now I do want to, before I do too much, I think it's nice. I think it's uh, it does the job. Tell me what you think in the comments about the daytime nocturnal look. And I'll come back later after I've hung out with my girlfriend and did a few things and uh, let you see what the it looks like once I've been out. And then we'll touch it up. Yeah, we'll do that for a true nocturnal look. That's the best way to go because it's after 11 and I got to meet her at 11.45. Okay, see you later. I'm back guys I'm back but this is my face as I've come back from being out alrighty where do I start I'm I'm going to tap my eyelids to remove any oils if there's any that's what it looks like and I'm going to just go in and touch up a little bit I'm going to start with the caramel or you no know, this uh, yeah caramel kind of a uh, tan color there that very natural color there and put a little in here just to freshen that up I'm going to go in with the lighter color the lightest color that I did not use just a little bit of it wipe off my brush some and put it under my brow okay just a little bit there I think you might be able to see a little bit of the highlight of the bone under the brow so that's done I'm a little dark under here so we'll take a little bit of my Dior corrector concealer I want to say concealer first, but on the jar it says corrector. Okay, now I'm ready to try this new Dior product here, this contour. I think that's good. Okay, I see it. It's subtle. I didn't use a lot. It's subtle. I'm going to go in with a little more of the uh, blush because I can, and I like it. I like it. So we're going to just use this brush. I think we used it before and just touch up on here and if that's not enough we're gonna go in with the luminizer I have a luminizer here and I definitely want to use this this is rosewood so it's a beautiful color I know a little here set everything with the powder the powder from Dior and it is in deep Ooh, we forgot this so why not add a little bit of this hourglass palette here? Here are the colors. And if you can tell, I've mostly worked around here. So let's do these two today. Let's do something a little different. That palette is beautiful. I love this palette. I think this is the color I want. Midnight, this coral color. Yeah, my deep color. I love this. Like my nails from Dior. Uh-huh. So here we have it. We have the just mm, deep lips here with a little bit of sheen, mostly matte finish to them. We have the nice neutral brown nocturnal eyes and we have the um, chocolate brown contour with the highlight and the little bit of a berry color in the cheeks there definitely a nocturnal but a soft nocturnal look but because of that highlighter in the inner corner yeah that's my owl's eye and the colors are more specifically the barn owl 
guys, thank you for watching. If you want to save any of the looks that we have brought to you tonight, I suggest that you make sure that you are subscribed to our channels, that you like our videos. Of course, you want to save this video in your library so that you can go back to it and also um, share the videos, comment, and let us know what you think of the looks. And again, what animal would you choose to be your nocturnal animal. It doesn't have to be your uh, spirit animal, but your nocturnal animal. Or if you comment on someone else's video, make sure you tell them what you thought of their look, whether or not it was the orange look or the nocturnal animal look. We appreciate you being here. I love you for being here. Thank you for sticking with me throughout this video. I know it was done a little different. Uh, than what I normally do, but I'm going to put on a little bit more passion because I'm loving this scent and I've had it for years. I think my son must have given me this maybe in the early 2000s, but it's a very beautiful scent. It's so perfect for a night out, a nocturnal evening. Thank you for being here. I'll see you next time.